So we left off in the previous video talking about the implementation of a binary tree, and we said that the only difference between it and the implementation of a normal tree will be the uh, representation of the children, and um, we're going to be assigning pointers to every single child of the binary tree because we only have two, so it is very feasible, whereas in the earlier case we had to go for the first child next sibling implementation because we could have a list of children, so this is uh, probably the only difference. You could also add a parent uh, uh, pointer here uh, if you wanted to refer back to, to the parents but uh, we could also omit that it's optional so this is the implementation um, now let's look at the traversal of a binary tree we've already seen DFT and BFT uh, BFT is also called level order because you're actually traversing a tree level by level um, we've seen pre-order post order uh, in the case of a binary tree we also define in order traversal as uh, DFT and this basically means that you would visit the um, children uh, uh, in the left side, the, the left child, then you visit the parent, and then you visit the right child. So this is an in order traversal. And we're going to see an example here. So suppose this was our tree, and uh, we were to traverse the tree in uh, using one of these ways. What will be the result, or what will be the order of the nodes that we visit? So level order, which would be the easiest in the case, would be just to uh, uh, visit level by level. So this is a BFT traversal. So we would have visiting, we would visit A and then B, C, D, E, F, G. So this is what you get. Um, the DFT pre-order traversal would mean that first we visit, we would dig deeper into the tree, but we would visit the node before visiting its child node. So we would visit A first, and then B, because we're digging deeper, and then D. So we finish this branch, then we go back here to E, and then we're going to C, F, G. So this is pre-order traversal. Post-order traversal would be um, about the same thing, except we visit the children nodes before getting back to the parent. So we're also digging deeper, we dig deeper and deeper, then we get to D, so this is the end of the tree, and then we also go to E, which is the children, so we visit the children before visiting the parent node. We finish with this, the children of this parent node, so we could visit B, and then we still have to finish with the children of A, so we go to this branch now, but C also has children, so we have to visit its children first, so we go to F, G, and then C, and then finally A. Now the in-order traversal would simply be that you visit the children, then the parent, and then the right, chi uh, the right child. So left child, parent, and then right child. So in this case we would start off going, it's, a, it's also a DFT traversal, so we dig deep deep and then we find that this is the last child, we've le uh, the last left child that we've seen. So we visit that child, D, and then we go to the parent, B, and then we visit the right child. So we finished with this part of the tree. And then we get back here, now we finished with the left children of A, so we could visit A now, the parent, and then now we visit the right children of A, and we find a C here. A C also has a left child and a right child. We visit first the left child, then the, the then C, and then the right child, and we're done. So this is these are different ways of traversing this tree. Uh, now as to the algorithms, this is a pseudocode to actually implement them: the pre-order traversal, post-order traversal, and in-order traversal. Um, uh, for the pre-order traversal, it's pretty much what we've seen in the previous video about the trees. Um, you visit the root node first, and then you call pre-order on the left node, and then pre-order on the right node. So it's a recursive function. Um, we added this here because um, we're not saying, in the previous case, we actually said for each child. And so if a, if a leaf node had no children, there won't be any calls. But in this case, we're just calling it on the root, uh, on the left child and the right child whether they exist or not. So they could be a null. So that's why we're just putting an if root is not null so that we uh, we just skip the case where we're talking about a leaf and we're calling the function on, on its null children. So this was just added. You could have just said for each child and then calling it, but the for each child would actually translate to just two children. So it would be just two calls. So we're making the calls explicit here. Post order would be the exact same thing except that you would visit um, the root node after you've called uh, post order on the children and in order you could probably guess what it was what is what's going to be first you visit the left and then you actually visit the parent the root node and then you visit the right child so it's going to be this first and this second and this third 